Today here at EPI, we're going to be showing how to use the EPI CAPT uh, secondary clutch roller pin removal tool for the Can-Am X3 QRSX type clutch. Uh, this is the EPI capped tool, and you'll see it's got a tiny little pin with the threaded rod. Um, so we've already removed the screw that retains the pin into the secondary clutch assembly. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set the tool up to remove it. Uh, we're going to start with the pin inserted into the tool. We're going to slide the tool on so that it makes contact and then carefully thread the pin into the pin. So once it threads in and seats, you don't have to get crazy torquing this thing in there. It's just got to be enough to hold it and pull the pin. So get that set the tool is still loose we're going to go ahead and tighten up the thumb screws that hold the tool against the sheave of the clutch so we've got the nut and the bolt here we're going to go ahead and finger snug this up i'm going to take the uh, three quarter or 19 mil ratcheting type wrench and we're going to use that on the nut that is actually doing the pulling work and we're going to hold the other portion the bolt portion that's holding the tiny pin uh, in place stationary so that it's not trying to torque that pin. So at this point we're ready to uh, pull the pin but we're going to want to heat up the aluminum so that we can make the pin come out easier without trying to break things. Uh, the pin does press into the inner ring and the exterior ring so we're going to go ahead and heat up just those areas as much as we can without heating up everything else. And now we're going to start uh, pulling this pin. It's important to maintain the pressure on the other wrench to keep that bolt from turning because these pins are pressed in pretty tight. So it does take quite a bit of torque and force you want to make sure you don't break that little pin off in the roller pin. So I'm looking down through the hole where the little screw that retains the pin threads into. And I can see that the pin is pulling. It looks like I'm stuck again here. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a little more heat. You want to stop occasionally and just check to see where you're at inside the roller because you don't want to pull the pin all the way out of the clutch unless you're completely replacing the pin. Say the pin got damaged if your roller is broken or hitting on the helix, getting some galling and some other weird stuff going on. Now as we get close to the finish here, you'll want to note that the washer is to the outside from the center of the clutch so that when you go to put this back together, you get the washer back in the right spot. So here we are, we've pulled the pin far enough out, we can get the roller out. And now we can back off the pressure on this nut to where it's loose. Loosen it up with your fingers. And go ahead and loosen up our clamps. and we can remove the tool. The pin stays, that's not the end of the world. There is a small Allen hex on the end of it that you can use to remove that from the pin. So when you're going to reinstall your roller and your pin, we found what works best is one of these right here, one of these semi self-centering roll pin type punches because it fits right into the end bore of the pin and allows you to keep it centered when you're tapping it back in.
So we've gone ahead and skipped the part where we pounded the pin back in. Uh, we had one person hold this while another person punched the pin through just because it makes it easier to make sure you get the roller. Um, one important note is you want to make sure you don't pound the pin too far because you'll blow out the back side of the clutch and possibly crack it and damage it. You just need enough space to where you can get the small screw threaded back in that retains that pin.